Welcome back to Nippon Art Program. My name is Honjo Satoko. Please call me Sophie. I'm the founder of Creative Journey Japan. I'm an independent travel agency in Tokyo. Today, I'm at Nagai Art Gallery in Ginza. I'm going to be your art interpreter in this program. Let me introduce the owner of this gallery, Mr. Nagai Ryunosuke. Hello, everyone. In this program, I would like to invite you to join me as I navigate through the world of Japanese art. I rather say Nippon art. Nippon means Japan in Japanese. I hope you will discover more about the artist and their works and develop an appreciation for the rich world of Nippon art. I myself is an art lover, but still so much to learn when it comes to Nippon art. I hope all of you will enjoy and learn along with me. The 50th anniversary celebration of Nagai Art Gallery in Ginza. Nagai Art Gallery was established in 1971 by Nagai-san's father. It moved to Ginza in 1973. And 2023 will mark the 50th anniversary of Nagai Art Gallery in Ginza. To celebrate, we will be holding an anniversary exhibition of the Japanese painter Senju Hiroshi with the support of Mr. Sanjo Hiroyuki, who has been a collector and patron of Senju Hiroshi since his debut. Thanks to Mr. Sanjo, we can see some of Senju's latest works from his Waterfall on Color series, as well as works from the Flat Water series that first brought Senju Hiroshi to international attention. You can enjoy the evolution of his art from his debut to his latest works. This unexpected depth that has developed over the past 30 years is captured perfectly by the Japanese world, Iki, which is at the heart of Nagai Art Gallery's philosophy. Mr. Senju was born in 1958 and brought up in Tokyo. He studied at Tokyo University of the Fine Arts while working on a series of local towns, he explored his own Japanese identity. He exhibited some of his works at the Soga Kai, Japanese art group, after which he started painting scenes from Japanese nature. He relocated to New York, where he continued to paint the natural world. He produced a new series of 16 flat water paintings which were inspired by Kilauea volcano in Hawaii. This series of large-scale paintings was very impressive. It attracted the attention of people in New York and was covered in the New York Gallery Guide in 1993. A Japanese art critic, Mr. Ito Junji, who was directing the Biennale in Venice, wanted to include the Flat Water series at the festival. Mr. Ito asked Senju Hiroshi to introduce his flat water series there. However, Senju Hiroshi was exploring a new theme in his work, and he insisted on creating a waterfall series for the festival. As a result, the waterfalls were displayed to a large audience. Two works from the flat water series will be included in this anniversary exhibition. This series became the inspiration for the famous World Water series. It took five years between 1987 and 1992 to create the Flat Water series. During those years, helicopter flights to study water from the air. He also camped for over two weeks while studying water. His Waterfall on Colors series was created during the pandemic when the world was closed. It is on colors because it depicted the world from behind waterfalls. Looking through the waterfall gives a perspective of a colorful world, obscured just behind the curtain of foreign water. It expresses such a universal shared feeling of the time as people all around the world longed for a return to normal daily life. I was honored to have an opportunity to meet Mr. Senju Hiroshi in person this time. According to Mr. Senju, art is a pursuit into the unknown. 
sharing the common hope among people. Interestingly for him, there is something quite essentially Japanese about haiku. Haiku is something、uh, composed of only 17 syllables. Five, seven, five. Though it is a short and simple, the expressive potential is limitless. This depth in simplicity is something Mr. Senju thinks very Japanese. Let me read one by Goto Yaham Above the waterfall, water revealed becomes waterfall. This poem was written in 1929, 100 years ago. Contrasted the permanence of a waterfall, on the one hand, with the ever changing water flowing over it. Now, let's have a look at his waterfalls. はい、それではね、新作の、えー、Waterfall on Colors をちょっと一点ずつご紹介したいと思います。えー、みんな六号という大きさ、えー、横が四十一センチでこれ三縦三点八センチですけれども。So, colorful watercolor. This is the latest work of the Senju Hiroshi.、Um, waterfall on colors. And, um, the waterfall is a very small scale of the 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 the scale of the s c a Created the new style of waterfalls. でまさに千住さんも言っておられてるんですが自然界は本当に色彩に満ちているとですからこういう作品などもなんか四季折々とかね、まあ、一日の朝昼晩とかそういうものが全てその絵の中にあの色彩を通して語られているなという印象を持ちますね。はい um, it's a, the, the daily life is so colorful that he wanted to express the, the usual colors in life. はい、でこれ横構図とかね縦構図とかいろいろありますけれどもあの今までの,あの滝はですね、まあ、外から見たいわゆる人間の目で見た滝ということなんですが、まあ、今回の,そのカラーシリーズになりますと要は自然の内側からその見ると我々が見,見られている逆にそれを我々がその自然の美しさを発見する機会になるというそのシリーズになってますよね。So the own colors means that There are colors, and we see the colors behind the waterfall. So that's a very big difference from seeing the waterfall from outside. So, on colors. So, seeing the colors from, from behind the water colors. で、まあ、こちらの先ほどは横構図です。これは縦構図でね、あの前にも私が話をしましたけれども、このどこを切り取るかなんですが、非常にこれで滝の,あの勢いも感じさせますし、またこの非常にこのカラフルな、ね、色彩によって、もう自然界の美しさも合わせて表現しているなと思いますね。So, horizontal style and vertical style. So, vertical style、um, is the same size, but you can feel the Waterfall, very strong, the water falling more vividly. はい、それからもう一点、こちらもね、縦構図なんですけれども、先ほどの縦の構図が背景にちょっと赤という強い色が入っているのですごく動きを感じます。逆にこちらの方が静かなね、この色彩で何か静けさとか、何か感じる、まあ、あの銅と性とかですね、対照的な縦構図の作品、まあ、性の作品かなという印象を持ちますね。This one, vertical one, is、uh, um, colored, uncolored, but、uh, you feel more transparent、so、rather than the pink or red one, the, the navy and blue, the quietness that you may feel. はい、えー、今回は最新作、4作なんですか、4点目ですよね。でこれ、横構図なんですけど、先ほどの横とはまたちょっと思いが違うんですが、非常にこの滝の勢いというか力強い滝ですよね。そしてこの背景となるこの色彩が非常にその味わいのある色彩になっていて力強い滝なんだけれどもこの背景の色によって、えー、静けさをも感じさせるこの中にまあ道と性、まあ、光の表現もある非常に美しい作品になっていると思います。So horizon one,、um, you can you can feel the very strong powerful waterfall.、Um, So, but calm, very calm, though 
um, them very um, posh, could sick, um, very um, elegant piece. I wonder if we could purchase these works, hey. Namai-san. Hey. で実はこの千里さん、今6号というあのサイズです、みんな実は同じ値段なんですが、今、現役画家ではです、ね、日本の中で一番実は高い画家です。で、タイトル、実は値段も,もう本当に人気なので、えー、もうすぐ売れるんですね、ですからもうあの需要と供給の関係でもすぐ実は値段が高くなっていくという状況があって、今もまあ発表価格、えー、つけてますけど、またすぐ値段が上がる可能性もあるので、あえてこ,こ,こ,でここではね。紹介しません。ぜひここであの作品をご覧いただいて、そこにまあ値段も表示してますのでご覧いただきたいと思います。Uh, yes, we could purchase these works, but we cannot mention the price on this video. We are, you, you got to come and visit us and see, see it. As、uh, Senju Hiroshi is very popular、uh, internationally, so the price for his works go up and up, up daily. So,、um, Well, don't miss it this time and please visit us. Any question about Nippon Art program is welcome. You could purchase all the works introduced on these videos. The link to Nagai Art Gallery is posted down there. Don't forget to read Sophie's Nippon Art blog on Creative Journey Japan too. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching the video clip. Nippon Art, please subscribe it.